What I've got here is I've got some fondant that I've dyed just a little bit of pink, and I've got some Tylos powder, and I really need to, for this pleat that I'm gonna put on this cake, I need to stiffen up this fondant a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Tylos to this. This is, oh, I don't know, probably about a half a pound of um, fondant. So I really only need very little of this. You just sprinkle a little in, and it stiffens up a little, um, over time, it'll be even, even stiffer by tomorrow. So I just need a little bit, probably about half a teaspoon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and knead this in. Now I'm only gonna need a little bit of this fondant right now to work with. You don't wanna work with too much at a time through the pasta machine because it will tend to turn it a little gray. So I'm just gonna work with a little bit. And I'm gonna do the pleat in uh, pieces, in small pieces. When you first start learning how to pleat, it's a good idea to work with a small piece because it gets hard to handle. And then as you get more used to it, then you can go ahead and start with bigger pieces. So what I'm gonna first do is just roll this out and I'm gonna start with the widest setting on my pasta machine here. An electric one would be a lifesaver, but I don't have an electric one. So we make sure it's not sticky and you wanna make sure actually that you have kind of an even, an even end right here because when you put this in, it comes out better if it's even doesn't go veering off to the side. Okay, and all I'm doing is just, just hold it up here. It's kind of thick, that's why it's going through so slow. Eh, oh, isn't that fun? Okay, that was the widest setting for my machine, that's a seven. Okay, got a few things on it, get those out. And as you can see, it curled a little bit, that's okay, we're gonna take off this excess part and we're going to move it down to the next widest setting for my machine the widest is a six uh seven so this is a six now so it goes through nice and easy and then we're going to go on down to a four so this is the five and then one more to the four and that's about you could probably go one more but no, i don't want to get it too thin it's too hard to work with so down to four. I'm gonna cut this straight again. Easier to work with. And again, this is probably a little, whoops, I got that off to the side. This is probably a little long. Yeah, I got that one off to the side, didn't I? Ah, that's okay. Got a little bit of gray in it. I'm just gonna do a really short piece. To show you as a beginner, you should be working with a nice short piece, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to get a nice straight bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut that nice and straight as best I can with my pizza cutter. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then what I want to do is I want to flip it over. I want the sticky side. And then I'm going to take my stencil. This stencil really doesn't matter what your stencil actually looks like because I'm going to be folding this up and you're not going to see the pattern. So any stencil will do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my makeup brush or any kind of a brush you've got. And this is the Orchid Pink Luster Dust. Holding the stencil down, I'm gonna go ahead and go over this with the stencil. Put the brush on the stencil. Make sure you get all of it. Okay, so I did that. And I'm gonna lift this up You'll see the pattern. And then, as you can see, I didn't make it all the way to the end, so I can just take my stencil and place it right back down here where I didn't get, and continue on. It's getting kind of low. Okay. See? 